Richard Feynman was an incredible scientist. He spent most of his time at Caltech. The idea of quantum physics, where all these particles are interacting in mysterious ways, he came up with a thing called Feynman diagrams that he won the Nobel Prize for. Perhaps even more importantly, he was an amazing teacher. He did a series of lectures which were for people who didn't specialize in physics. It's such a great example of how he could explain things in a fun and interesting way to anyone. And he was very funny. Incidentally, at the time of uh, Kepler, the problem of what drove the planets around the sun was answered in some, in some, by some people by saying that there were angels behind here beating their wings and pushing the planet along around orbit. As we'll see that that answer is not very far from the truth. The only difference is that the angels sit in a different direction and the wings go down. Dr. Feynman used a tough process on himself where if he didn't really understand something, he would push himself. Do I understand this boundary case? Do I understand why we don't do it this other way? Do I really understand this? And because he had pushed himself to have such a deep understanding, his ability to take you through the path of the different possibilities was incredible. Uh, oxygen, for instance, in the air would like to be next to carbon, and if they get it near each other, they snap together. If you can get it faster by heating it up somehow, some way, they come close enough to the carbon and snap in. And that gives a lot of jiggly motion, which might hit some other atoms, making those go faster so they can climb up and bump against other carbon atoms and they jiggle and they make mothers jiggle and you get a terrible catastrophe. That catastrophe is a fire. He's taking something that is a little mysterious to most people and using very simple concepts to explain how it works. He doesn't even tell you he's talking about fire till the very end and you feel like you're kind of figuring it out together with him. Feynman made science so fascinating. He reminded us how much fun it is and everybody can have a pretty full understanding. So he's such a joyful example of you know, how we'd all like to, to learn and think about things.